up guys welcome back so i know you guys are dealing with the cold weather if i am down here in florida so it's the best time to be spraying because it's nice and warm in the booth so let's shoot this job and see how it comes out we're doing a three stage red and i wanted to talk to you guys about some other things i'm thinking about picking up so stay tuned so here's the job it's a quarter and a blend on the door and i'm masking it up now but i wanted to show you guys how i do my jams i tape them up with tape because i don't like when you put paper in here Sometimes when you close the door, it'll pull it and leave a gap. So I'd much rather use tape and use a little bit more materials than have to paint this jam later on when the paint blows in and has it oversprayed. So I two inch my jams and then I back tape where I don't have to use the uh, fold tape. So I'm gonna show you my fold tape and how I do it. They make a machine for this, but it's better to do it on, you know, yourself. That way you always have it with you. You don't have to go looking for the fold tape machine. So let me show you how I do my jams. And I make sure I leave my tape right to the edge of that bend. That way when I put my fold tape on, it comes down right on here and, and it flutters perfectly for the paint to go in. So let me show you that. So I just use the regular normal small tape. I pull it, put it against my, my, my knee. I don't know if you guys can see there where it's folded over. When it's folded, you just pull it. And that'll give you a perfect, nice, fold tape so now when you put this on since you got that edge that's coming off of here it fits perfectly in don't pull it tight just lay it in nice and easy and that way it'll contour to the car without pulling back on it later and then you run that down if you have a bend just cut it and start it back over it works better than trying to bend it and i'll show you a little tip that uh, I do before I'm actually gonna paint the car. So I learned this trick from a buddy of mine, Steve. Appreciate it, Steve. But if you got a little area here that it's like wanting to pull back on the bend, take a little tape and put it on here till you're ready to paint and it'll form it. You put this tape on here and it'll hold the fold tape back on the bend. And by the time you get ready to paint, it'll be perfectly formed to that. So that's a little tip my buddy showed me years back. Steve, thanks a lot, bud. And uh, that's how I do my jam. So let's get into this one, guys. And the purpose of this fold tape is so that way when you paint it, you don't have a hard edge. And when that paint comes and hits that edge, this flutters back and forth. It'll, it'll hover it back and forth. You can't lift it, but it'll, it'll go back and forth and leave a better edge than having your normal hard line. So. I like this better than the foam. The foam glue usually sticks and usually it'll leave a, a, a line in there. So this is the best way that I was able to always do it. And uh, it comes out nice. So practice on your leg, get used to it. That way you always have a fold you know, machine wherever you go and you never have to buy another one when you break it. Cause a lot of times them fold machines are on the end of your tape machines and you'll walk by and break it right off. You'll be using panel bond to glue it back on the cart. So. Just get used to making your own with your, your body. All right guys, so you see how I got that hold in there. So the whole time I taped up the rest of the job, I left that holding on that little valley there. That way it'll form it to that car when the heat picks up from the booth. So. That's a good tip my buddy Steve, that's a top level painter, taught me years back and I keep doing it because it works well. So this will help you guys out too. And one other trick, not a trick, but a tip. Whenever you're taking off these stripes on these burgundies and you're using an eraser wheel, make sure you don't heat that thing up because you'll turn the panel orange on these candies. And when you get done, you'll seal that, you'll clear it and you'll see where you have it all orange and everything where you burned it with the wheel. So be very careful on these three stage reds when you're taking off the stripe, cause you'll burn the paint and you won't see it till you're done. When you clear it, it'll make it orange. So check it with the light. Make sure you didn't do that. When I do these, I sand them and I make sure I don't use the eraser wheel. Or if I do, I'll go ahead and um, check over it and make sure that I go real slow with it. So it'll also do that on whites. You'll turn it yellow. So. Just a little tip to get you guys out of having the trouble with it like I have before. So let me pull this off and I'll show you what I mean. 
but it holds it now. See how that's nice? It keeps it tight against the quarter there so it doesn't have a big gap. So let me finish bagging this one and we'll shoot it. I wanted to talk to you about the 3M gun. I've had it now for about two months and this thing is phenomenal how long these heads will last compared to the old ones that they used to make. So I'm gonna be picking up about three or four of these guns and start really using them a lot because I like how long the head lasts and I like how easy they are to clean. Being they got that plastic body, you can clean them out if you want to or you could just replace the head. But they last a lot longer than they used to and I really like them. So we're gonna be switching over to PPS cups here for this shop. And I'm looking forward to that because we were using the D cups and I had to pick up my own PPS cups to use this gun for a while, but now we're switching over. But for you guys that use the D cups, they make an adapter I heard that can twist into the top of the 3M cups. So check with your local Devilbus guy or the paint store about that adapter if you guys want to try out the uh, performance spray gun and you're using the D cups. But I really like this gun and it sprays beautiful it's easy to clean the heads last a long time so what an upgrade it was from the old one and i'm really enjoying this gun so i'm going to finish this job out and we'll clear it with the uh, 5500 and i'll show it to you done but that's the deal i'm going with more of these 3m guns they're really good and they're a really solid gun so check them out if any of you guys haven't yet All right, it's clear time. We got two coats of CC200 with the SADA 5500 1 3 with the eye pattern. So I'm spraying at about 28 psi with this clear. I like that. Let's get into it and see what it looks like all done. If you did, if you got something out of it, give it a thumbs up and so hit the subscribe button, guys. Thanks for watching.